All right, good morning. We are gonna do some power yoga. So let's go ahead and start in our easy pose. And always starting with some deep breathing before we move into our practice. So just sitting up nice and tall, tilt the pelvis forward, lift your chest, and roll your head a little bit, move your shoulders. We'll bring the hands to the knees, palms face down. And just try to tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long. We'll add some work in. And with your eyes closed, we'll just start to deepen the breath. So just in through the nose, out through the mouth. And the goal here in these first few moments is to just let go of anything that you're holding on to. I mean, bring the focus inward, settle the mind. Just connect with the breath. With every exhale, see if you can relax the muscles of your face, soften your shoulders, separate your teeth. Let's go a little deeper into our pranayama. So we'll start with the exhale. And then big inhale through the nose for six. Hold it. Open mouth, exhale. Again, inhale. Hold it. Big exhale. And last time, biggest breath. Inhale. And big exhale. And already, let's open up the eyes. And take an inhale, sweep the arms up, drop the head back. Exhale, twisting to the right. So grab onto your right knee with your left hand, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, arms up. And we exhale, let's fold forward this time, relax your head. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the back. And exhale, fold a little deeper. Slide the hands to the knees. And we'll sit up nice and tall. On the next inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up. This time as we exhale, come forward onto hands and knees, uncross your ankles. And the turn to face the top of my mat. So just on all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Move a little bit here. Big circles with the head. And spreading the fingers wide. Come back to center here. Try to press away from the floor. Pull your belly in tight. We'll extend the left leg and the right arm. And lifting out of your left shoulder, you can roll your wrist and ankle a little bit. As we inhale, we'll lift higher. On the exhale, we'll round, bring elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bend the knee, we'll reach back, grab the foot. Just open up the shoulder, maybe look over your right shoulder if you have your balance. Release the foot, extend, hold, and lower down. And so belly in tight, switch sides, and we're lifting out of the right shoulder, rolling wrist and ankle. And inhale to lengthen, exhale, round it in. 
Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Lengthen. Bend the knee, reach back for the foot. And try to look over the shoulder. Release the foot, extend. And lower. We'll start here with an exhale as we round the back, tuck the chin, cat pose. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, round. Try to move with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Release. We'll scoot the knees back, get some space here. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Big deep breath. Take a peek at your setup here, hands or shoulder width distance apart. Make sure those middle fingers are pointing straight ahead. Press your chest back towards your thighs, relax your head, and then walk it out. Bending the knees back and forth. Move fast or slow, whatever feels good. And then finding a little stillness here in the center and inhale way up high onto the toes. As we exhale, you can bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, heels down. We'll bring the feet together and then extend the right leg up into three-legged dog. Try to reach through your toes. And squaring off hips and shoulders, left heel pressing down. And then open up your hip, bend your knee. And bring that right foot back down. And left leg up. Hip squared, shoulder squared. Head hangs heavy, big breath. Open it up and move around a little bit. We'll set the left foot up to the left hand. Right foot up to the right hand. So you want the feet about hip distance apart and we'll grab onto the elbow and hang in ragdoll. And just moving side to side or back and forth. The most important part is that we have the connection with the belly and the legs. We'll take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, just release the hands down. And bring them behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Stretch out the shoulders. And head hangs heavy. Weight into the toes. A little movement here if that feels good. And then bring the hands to the lower back and to the floor. We're going to start to roll up nice and slow, letting the arms hang heavy, head hang heavy. And then head is last. Once you're all the way up, you step your feet together and stand tall. All right, moving body and breath together. Let's take an inhale, arms out, back and up. Exhale, fold forward, try to leave with your chest all the way down, hands to the floor, relax your head. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift, gaze forward, flatten the back. Exhale, hands down, feet back, high plank. Holding your first high plank here for a moment. And we can always bring the knees down if we need to. Otherwise, we're on the toes, gaze forward, shift forward, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Inhale, bring the heels high, bend the knees. Exhale, top of the mat, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. High plank. So low. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Do one more Sunday. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift. A little bit forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Nice, long, slow breath. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. And add in chair pose. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, top of the mat. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up. Just make sure your feet are together and your knees are together. Weight is back into the heels. Look in between your hands. Try to squeeze the knees together. Sit a little lower. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, big forward fold, hands to the mat. Halfway lift. High plank. Sit low. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Let's inhale, right leg up. And bend your knee and open your hip here for a sec. And we'll set the right foot up to the right hand. And we drop the back knee. Just find a little lizard here. Uncurl those toes. Just make sure your foot is flat and your knee is over your ankle. So remember, you can always go out and up if you need to. And then we can stay on the hands or drop to the elbows. Relax your head. Big breath. If you're on your elbows, come on back to your hands. We're gonna curl the left toes under, pop that knee up. Keep your left hand down and reach your right arm up. Spread your fingers wide, look up, squeeze your left leg tight. Let's take a big inhale. And exhale, right hand down. Make sure you're squared off from the front. We're gonna inhale both arms up, high lunge. So you want to squeeze your left leg as high as you can get on your toes. Relax your shoulders, lift your gaze. Belly in tight. Try to reach through your fingers, sit a little deeper. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Right foot back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Inhale, left leg up. And bend the knee, open the hip. And we'll set the left foot up to the left hand. And drop the right knee. And just take a moment here, set yourself up. Make sure your foot is flat, knee is over the ankle. And then if it's available in the hips, we can bring the elbows down. And just try to relax your head. Find your breath. Maybe you can close your eyes for a sec. Try to keep yourself present in the moment. If we're on the elbows, back to the hands. We're gonna curl the right toe so that knee comes up. And then open the left arm, nice little twist here. 
Try to get your shoulders down your back, away from your ears. Squeeze your right leg. Open the chest, big breath. Let's take one more big inhale. I'm gonna exhale, rotating left hand down, square yourself off, and then rise up, high lunge. Hands above shoulders, shoulders above hips. And belly in tight, lift your gaze. Squeeze your right leg as high as you can get on your toes. Let's take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Left foot back, gaze forward, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. Full chair pose, inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold, hands to the mat. Halfway left. High plank to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, to downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Let's inhale the right leg up. Step your right foot to your right hand, and dropping that back heel, warrior one, arms come out, back and up. Squaring yourself off, left hip forward, right hip back. And remember too, wherever your left toes are pointing, your knee and your hip are gonna follow that same line. So toes forward, hip forward. And then relax your head back, look for your thumbs. Try to straighten up your arms a little bit more, press your palms together, reach for the sky. Relax your face as you inhale, reach up. Exhale, open. All right, into Big Warrior Two. Right, take up some space, line up your heels. And we wanna gaze forward past the right arm. Right, relax your shoulders down your back. Eyes are still. And right, just see how your hips feel. Try to get your side parallel to the floor if you can, nice and low. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, one inch lower. Cartwheel your hands down. The right leg comes back. Gaze forward, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big inhale. And big exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through, let's find our warrior one, back heel down, arms out, back and up. A right, little bit of space between the feet, right hip forward, left hip back, right leg straight. We wanna think about outside edge of your foot, right foot pressing down as your hip pulls forward so you get more space on the front of that hip. And then hands above shoulder, shoulders above hips, head back. Once you're here, see if you can straighten out your arms a little more, press your palms together. There we go, get mom. As you inhale, reach up. And exhale, open. Nice smooth transition to your warrior two. Remember, feet get further apart, hips get a little bit lower. We're gazing past the left hand. Making little adjustments in your body. Shoulders stacked right above the hips. Arms are strong, belly in tight. Eyes still. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, just down one inch, hold it here. And cartwheel your hands down, left leg back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath. Let's inhale, heels high. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, arms up. And 
and exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Let's go one to two with flow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Arms up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Cartwheel hands down, right leg back. High to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through. Arms up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Cartwheel hands down, left leg back. High to low. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. All right, let's go warrior one to three. Right leg up. Step it through. Arms up, warrior one. Press up, warrior three. So you want to try to get your body parallel to the floor. I don't know why I feel like this is zoomed in or something. It's like so close. Gaze forward, leg up, arms up. Point your toes. We're going to step back to warrior one. Take an inhale. Exhale, big warrior two. This time, palms up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse. Back to warrior two. And cartwheel hands down. Let our right leg back, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big inhale. And big exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through, one to three, arms up. And press and lift. Just try to move with control. The more active your body is, easier just to balance. So keep the arms up, keep the legs up. And then step it back to one. Exhale to two. Flip the palms up, reach. Exhale, reverse. Lots of space, big stretch. Back to two. And cartwheel hands down, left leg back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Big inhale. And big exhale. Let's go tricking us in a triangle pose. Right leg up. Step it through. Back heel drops. We got both legs straight. Right hand, right ankle as we open up. First step, just make sure your shoulders in line with your hip. And then we're not pressing the chest forward. Then look up. Straight arms, straight legs. We can stay here or wrap the left hand behind the back. Reaching for the thigh and then extend that right arm forward here just for a moment. Right hand back down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand comes down. Shorten the stance a little bit. We want to square off. Straight legs, a little bit of space between the feet. Lengthen and straighten your back like you would in a halfway lift. And then left hand comes on the right foot and then right arm comes up. Straight spine. Try to look all the way up for that right hand if you can. We find that nice big twist. Keep breathing, keep reaching, take an inhale. And exhale, right hand comes down. Little bend in both knees. We'll lift up for airplane. So keep your gaze to the floor, a little arch in your back. Option to open half moon by flexing your toes, lifting your hip. Eyes are still, try to get your hip as high as it'll go. Airplane. Chest up, leg up. Take the twist, right arm up, left shoulder under. 
eyes still. Back to airplane. Hold it, hold it. Try to step it back to warrior one. Take a big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Let's reach forward into side angle, right arm down, left arm high. Take a half bind with the left hand, just like we did in our triangle pose. This time, let's grab onto the right big toe. So you can stay right here if you need to, or step up into extended hand to foot. We're gonna come to stand. Even just holding the foot here is perfect, or you extend and open. Hand can come on the hip if we need to. All right, just take it one step at a time. Big breath. You got it, let's come on out, same way. Right foot comes down. Step the left leg back, Whew. unbind. Gonna rise back up to warrior two, nice and solid, gaze forward. Cartwheel the hands down. Your right leg is gonna go back, right arm up, side plank. You can extend it or support it or stay where you are. Try to get your hips up, lift up. Side plank, and rotate back to high plank, lower chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Big inhale, and big exhale. Other side, triangle pose, left leg up. Step it through. That back heel comes down, we'll open up. Again, most important part is the shoulder and the hip alignment. And then we can open up the chest, spread your fingers wide. Back toe should be pulling forward towards the top of the mat. Often bring right hand behind the back. Maybe extend the left arm. Left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Shorten it up a little bit. So you wanna be able to square your hips off, a little bit of space there between the feet, lengthen straight the back. And then twist, right hand down, left arm up. Pressing evenly through the feet. Try to look all the way up for that thumb. Nice big twist. And bring the left hand down a little bit in both knees just for a second, and then we'll rise up into airplane. Once so again, a little arch in the back so we activate those muscles. You can stay here or open up. Flex your toes, get your hip as high as you can, spread your fingers wide. You got it, come back to airplane, stay lifted, chest up, leg up. And then option to twist, left arm up. Don't let that right leg sink down, keep it nice and high. Back to airplane, hold it. Lightly step back. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up. Nice and big. Reach forward, left arm down, right arm high. Half bind. Whatever you know the first side, maybe grab that big toe, hold it here, or step up. And come to stand. Right, even just holding that knee or toe is perfect. You can extend and open. Wherever you are, stand tall. Coming out the same way with control, and that leg forward, bend the knee. Left foot comes down, we step the right leg back, unbind, back to warrior two, nice and solid here just for a sec, and cartwheel the hands down, the left leg is going to come back, left arm up, side plank, and then whatever we do on the first side, we always try for the same thing, even if it doesn't always feel the same, hips up, look up.
side plank, and rotate back to high plank, lower chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Big breath. All right, we're gonna slow down just a little bit. Oh, actually not yet. Let's inhale right leg up. We're gonna exhale right knee, right elbow. And then up and back. Knee to nose. Up and back. Right knee, left elbow. Up and back. And our right foot to right hand. Arms come straight up back to our high lunge. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll twist to the right. Your left elbow to the outside of that knee. If you need to modify, you can drop your left knee to your mat. Otherwise, stay on the toes. You can open your arms. And only if it helps you twist deeper, maybe half bind or full bind. Eyes are still. Big breath. If we have the bind, we'll extend. Hands to heart. And come on back to the center. Shoulders back. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big inhale. And big exhale. So left leg up. Left knee, left elbow. Try to touch. And back. And knee the nose. And back. And knee over to the right side. And back. Left foot, left hand. Arms up. We'll exhale, hands to heart. And then twist to the left. Right elbow, left knee. Look over the shoulder. We can stay here or extend. And only if it helps you twist deeper, half bind or full bind. Eyes are still. Extend. Hands to heart. Rise up. Take a big inhale. And exhale, hands down. Step back, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath. And let it go. Now we'll slow it down a little bit with pigeon. Right leg up. Bring it all the way up to your right knee. Left leg goes back. Square off. So your right knee's in line with your right shoulder. And then right heel's over here by your left hip. <coughs> Make them onto the elbows. Or stack the hands, forehead to the hands, whatever feels good. Close your eyes. Try to soften your face, step out your teeth. Breath in and big breath out. 
right, let's go left leg up. Bring that knee all the way up. Drop the back knee. And just get yourself squared off so you're not falling on one side or the other. We're just right there in the middle. Then we can come down onto the elbows. You can stack your hands or come all the way forehead to your mat. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Just trying your best to be present in the moment, right here, right now. sides right hand grabs the outside of the knee or the foot and then kick try to look all the way back stand tall keep breathing keep twisting if you're not all the way there yet try to look for the thumb Turn around and lie on our backs. 